Okay, welcome to the next episode in the series. I'm the GCSE Maths Tutor, and in this series we have a look at questions that can be solved using nothing but GCSE skills. So, the question we're going to be having a look at today is this one, and we're going to specifically be looking at whether you can solve this question and work this out without using a calculator. So, write this question down, you've got a few seconds, pause the video if you need to, and we're going to get started trying to work this out. Okay, so getting started. Now looking at this question, we need to first have a look at simplifying what's inside the brackets. So we're gonna take that out and we're just gonna have a look at what's inside. Now as you can see, all of these numbers on the fraction have their own surd as powers. And we know that with surds, surds can be added together and they can be subtracted as long as they have the same number underneath the square root. Now, the next part, we also know that we can add powers and we can subtract powers as long as the base number is the same. So for this question, we're going to have to think about some of those elements. So there's a lot of formulas that you're going to need and things you need to think about for this question. And here are the formulas that you're going to need. Thinking about how we simplify thirds and also how we approach those laws of indices. And there's three of them there that are going to be applicable to this question. So again, if you want to have another go and just see if you can figure this out if you hadn't already then pause the video and see if you can work it out now you've had some of these hints okay so on to the solution now first things first let's have a look at seeing if we can simplify some of these thirds so you've got root 27 root 75 and root 48 now they are all multiples of three so 9, 25 and 16 are all square numbers, so they can all be simplified. So if we simplify these thirds, we would get this. 2 to the power of 3 root 3, 8 to the power of 5 root 3 and 4 to the power of 4 root 3. Now we know that obviously we can add some of these powers together and subtract the powers in the fraction as long as the base numbers are the same. So let's focus on these two numbers and we can turn them into a base number of 2. 8 is 2 cubed and 4 is 2 to the power of 2 or 2 squared. So straight away, let's change them. And when you change them like this, you want to put them into a bracket. So 8 has become 2 cubed and 4 has become 2 squared. Now we can apply that last indices rule that we had there and that is multiplying out those powers. So these are the powers we're going to multiply. So we're going to do 3 times the 5 root 3 and 2 times the 4 root 3. And that would give us this. So we now have three to, 2 to the power of 3 root 3, 2 to the power of 15 root 3, and 2 to the power of 8 root 3. Now the next step is we can actually start to simplify this using some of our laws of indices. So the first thing we can actually do is uh, multiply the top together and that will allow us to add the powers. And if we add those powers, let's see what we get. So for the first one, we are going to get 2 to the power of 18 root 3 and on the bottom there we've still got 2 to the power of 8 root 3. Now we have the same base numbers on the top and the bottom as well. We can now divide the powers so we're going to take them away from each other. So 18 root 3 take away 8 root 3 would leave us with 10 root 3. So we have 2 to the power of 10 root 3. Right that's fully simplified now. So we've got everything inside the brackets down to the point where it says 2 to the power of 10 root 3. So the next logical step is to put that back into the original bracket, which was to the power of root 3 over 5. So if we put that back into our bracket, and again we can apply the bracket rule there in our laws of indices, and we're going to multiply those powers. So 10 root 3 multiplied by the root 3 over 5, that 10 root 3 goes onto the numerator. Remember the root 3 can multiply the root 3, and we could write the first step as 10 root 9 over 5, or if you're happy to just turn that straight into 3, that would become 30 over 5. So we have 2 to the power of 30 over 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6, so that becomes 2 to the power of 6. So there we go. All of that is simplified down to 2 to the power of 6. So if we put this all back together then, and let's have a look, all of that is equal to 2 to the power of 6. We also know that 2 to the power of 6 is just 2 times itself, 6 times, and the answer to that is 64. So there we go, all of that came out as 64, and there is our final answer. There we go, I really hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you like that video, if you like this series, please do subscribe to the channel, 
please do sh share all these videos with your friends, see if you can challenge someone to, um, to one of these questions, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.